from the Home Slice News Center. This is the Daily Slice for Friday, September 23rd, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. A Louisiana law enforcement officer has been arrested in Rapid City, charged with hiring for sexual activity. According to the Paynton County Sheriff's Office, Kirk John Thibodeau, 44 of Port Allen, was in Rapid City attending a work-related conference. The incident happened at an unspecified hotel Tuesday and was reported at 3 a.m. Wednesday. Hiring for sexual activity is a Class 1 misdemeanor. If convicted, Thibodeau could receive jail time, probation, or a fine. A new poll says a lot about the state of political discourse in our area. Amy Rose has the details. With the 2022 midterm elections approaching soon, a vast majority of South Dakotans feel that our nation has become less civil and they place the responsibility for improving civility on a variety of institutions and individuals, including themselves, according to a new statewide poll. Nearly 80% of registered voters who responded to the poll said that civility in America has gotten worse over the past five years, while only 2.6% said civility has improved. Meanwhile, registered voters who responded to the poll said they believed that political leaders have the most responsibility for improving civility in America. However, respondents also place a significant responsibility on themselves for making the country more civil. This weekend is your final chance to visit the dinosaurs at Dinosaur Park before it closes for renovation. Construction begins September 26th. Visitors to the park have until Sunday to enjoy the scenery before the stairs are barricaded on Monday. The dinosaur sculptures can be seen from the access trail north of the staircase, and the visitor center and gift shop will stay open until officially closing on October 1st. As construction begins, drivers should be cautious while in the area and look out for construction traffic, traffic signs, and flaggers. In national and international news, here's the latest on the war in Ukraine. Voting has started in Russian-held regions of Ukraine on referendums to become part of Russia. The Kremlin orchestrated referendums, which have been widely denounced by Ukraine and the West as shams without any legal force, are seen as a step toward annexing territories by Moscow. The votes are being held in Luhansk, Kherson, and partly Russian-controlled Zaporozhia and the Donetsk regions. Ukrainian officials reported more evidence of possible war crimes on Friday. The governor of the Kharkiv region, which was mostly held by Russian forces before the Ukrainian counteroffensive this month, said 436 bodies were exhumed from a mass burial site in the eastern city of Izium, 30 of them with visible signs of torture. President Biden says help is on the way for storm-struck Puerto Rico. Amy Rose has the story. President Joe Biden says the full force of the federal government is ready to help Puerto Rico recover from the devastation of Hurricane Fiona. Speaking in New York Thursday, he said hundreds of FEMA and other federal officials are already on the ground with more help coming. He said his message to the people of Puerto Rico is, we're with you, we're not going to walk away. Meanwhile, Bermuda and Canada's Atlantic provinces are preparing for a major blast from the Category 4 storm. It's expected to pass overnight near Bermuda, where officials are opening shelters. More than 4 million Americans have rolled up their sleeves for the new Omicron-specific booster shots. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention posted that count on Thursday. The new shots are designed to target the most common Omicron strains of the coronavirus. The U.S. has ordered 171 million doses of the new boosters for fall. The first hint of public demand for the new boosters comes as health experts lamented President Joe Biden's recent remark on 60 Minutes that the pandemic is over. The president later clarified his comment after facing heat from health experts who worry the message might slow prevention efforts. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Partly sunny today and breezy with a high of 72. Low tonight, 54. This weekend, expect plenty of sunshine and highs in the mid-70s. And that was your Daily Slice for Friday, September 23rd, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.